so we've been talking about matter, and as you know, um, matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. And today we want to examine some of the properties of matter and try to determine what, how matter behaves under certain conditions. Okay, so once again we are doing uh, changing in prop changing in matter, examining the properties, examining what happens when we change matter. Here in this this Erlmeyer flask, we have uh, a certain volume of water. Here you can see that up close that it's just water. It's a clear liquid. In this uh, weighing boat, we have some uh, sugar, glucose, glucose crystals. I need to weigh both the glucose crystals and my water. And so we can see here that we have 70.39 grams of glucose crystals and water. I'm going to take this glucose crystals and I'm folding my weighing boat so I don't lose any of it. Allow this to drop down in here. Ordinarily, I would be using a funnel. I've got most of it. Swirl it around. It's dissolving in the water here. Slowly, slowly it will change. You can see now there's less of it. It's even less of it. And the sugar is almost gone. We're going to mass it again, and don't forget your weighing boat, because it did take up mass on our balance. And we have 70.39 grams of uh, water and sugar on our um, sugar water solution. And we find that the mass has not changed. So even during dissolving matter, uh, mass does not change. Started off with some sugar and then we had a little bit of water and then what we did is we mixed the sugar and the water together and we ended up with some sugar water. Pretty close to some sweet tea here in the south. So we mixed our sugar and water together to make sugar water. And so beforehand, we had some sugar in a small container. Uh, they're little crystals, but they look, you know, they just kind of fill up the bottom of the container. So we'll draw a certain number of sugar particles here. We'll do five little sugar particles. And then we also had some uh, water. So we'll draw a, uh, a little beaker full of water here. And the water had a certain number of particles in it or a certain mass to it. We masked everything before we started, and then we uh, found the mass afterwards. And what we found was we took the sugar, we put it in the water. Uh, it was still sugar. It's still water. They're just mixed together. And the mass actually uh, didn't change throughout this. So we have um, still have sugar, and we still have water afterwards. So we have our, uh, our beaker. It's still going to have our water in it. And it's still going to have our water particles here. And then, uh, then we have our sugar, and the container's empty because we poured the sugar in, right? We took the sugar, put it into the water here. And the sugar particles are now intermixed or spread around within the, uh, the water particles. They didn't, they didn't go away. It didn't uh, combine, didn't form anything new. It's still just sugar and water, but uh, now they're mixed together. And so the mass um, stays the same. Uh, the mass did not change. Uh, we just took and combined the two things together 
and we what we call it is dissolving. We dissolve the sugar in the water. Uh, it's a physical change. Nothing new was created, and the mass uh, stayed the same uh, throughout this process.